<clears throat> well, hello. Okay, let's see how uh, Google Drive works. So I just uh, access it using the accounts dot google dot com. Okay, it's fairly quick. Since I have more than one account and I've been there already, it's going to present me with uh, both of those. I select the RVT account because uh, that's our business for now. As you can see, I'm using Google Chrome as uh, my uh, browser. And uh, I will input right away my password since I've been there before it already knew my username so uh, normally you would have uh, <clears throat> to answer both username and password but uh, once it got in memory that you uh, are the same user you only have to uh, input your password so now I'm in Google Drive if for whatever reason you end up in mail or in uh, any other Google application, okay, you could navigate through all the Google application inside this little kind of keypad icon. So that's the icon for Google Drive. If I was per se in Gmail, I would hit the Google Drive logo and then <clears throat> end up in the proper, the proper place. As you can see, I have a few folder already uh, put together, a few text example, and uh, let's say uh, if I uh, if I was to create a, a new document, what I would do, I would hit the create button, use document, which look and feel pretty much like editing text in Word document format. So, I will just input some text in my new document, just like that, okay? Don't worry, there's not a, a really a save option or, or else, because it saves as it goes. And as soon as you hit that uh, to, to close the tab, it, it's automatically saved. <coughs> That's my untitled document. Okay, of course, it's pretty odd to uh, leave it untitled. So I'll just like it on the name. It will reopen my document and how I name my document. I just hit the untitled document name on top here and give whatever whoops whatever title i want it okay so from now on my give whatever title document as its proper name okay i close the tab and as you can see i have my give whatever title name it's uh, been made by me at uh, 11 45 today and the point of doing and working with this is that inside of InDesign the page layout program I'm using to lay out all of your stuff in the final format okay I can access that document that I just made okay from this little menu here okay place from Google Doc and uh, my document appear here, give whatever title, so I say place. And then I just draw a text box and uh, as you can see my, uh, my text appear. So now I can edit my text and uh, choose uh, whatever formatting that I feel that it should uh, use. 
I can color part of it, uh, put some parts in the uh, other typo. Uh, why? Yellow is pretty odd, let's say red. Okay. And then, <clears throat> if for whatever reason somebody go into that document, the same document, they give whatever title, document, and add <clears throat> some other text and save it. Then in my page layout program, okay, it will tag me that the text have been edited. Okay. And if I hit the refresh button in that little menu there, okay, as you can see, it has updated all the text without losing any format. Okay, that formatting that was different from the original source. So if I give a, I go in, in my original document, as you can see, there are no color, no bold font, no nothing. Okay, <clears throat> so that's why it's it will be so convenient because it will give us access to. Uh, really really get down to a perfect copy since you'll be able to copy proof <clears throat> all the way through the process of page layout so that's a very very big advantage for you and a big advantage for me because you won't need we won't double the time to do the copy the copy proofing and the corrections you'll input the correction into the original in Google Doc and instantly it will be updated in my final copy <clears throat> and the way of to work for me the simple because even then I would keep the alteration inside Google Doc to a minimum okay because as you can see there might be a problem of length so if uh, let's say uh, I copy text from this word document okay so if I copy this text to this word document <clears throat> following the rest of my uh, copy here okay as you can see it's a different type different <coughs> different size and everything I'll just do some cosmetic uh, change here <clears throat> okay so I save it or just close the document and go back here as you'll see here it notified me that a change have occurred I update the thing and what happened what happened is that <clears throat> the text goes to the follow the, the other text since it was never formatted it, it comes in not formatted but the problem I wanted to show you is that if my text box is too short the text might not show so for me the big concern is that the text should keep the same length okay the same length same amount of word pretty much should that shouldn't change so that's why I would say <clears throat> do your stuff the regular way if you use word use word if you use any other any other stuff use that copy proof your thing to the very best you can and then and only then open a Google Doc document and copy paste it from Word inside that Google Doc document just like I did so this way I'll know that this document is like the very very final copy of our final text that will go into the brochure and that has a go to go to get into the brochure <clears throat> because whatever change you do there it's going to be end up in the brochure so if we don't want any mixed up take your copy of word on the side have it circulate among your co-worker or whatever or whoever has a final word on the content have it copy proof and then paste it into my piece of work my document and 
then we can have a second copy proof to make sure that there's no uh, no no misspelling uh, or anything not that kind and that we will be guaranteed that uh, everything will roots ro will go smoothly so <clears throat> What if uh, I want to add a folder? I can just hit create and add a folder. It asks me for new my, my folder. Let's call it new folder just for now, just for the test. Create. Okay. There's my new folder. Okay. I want to put stuff in that folder. What I do? I hit it. So I know here that I'm in new folder and I just hit that upload button. I can upload an entire folder. So if you have, let's say, uh, <coughs> 10 or 20 photos you want to send me all at once, hit the folder button. If you want to upload just one file, hit the file button. <clears throat> so like for photos, graphics, logos, and stuff like that, maybe it's easier to just like gather all your stuff and upload it at once. <coughs> and for uh, anything, uh, that uh, is pretty small, uh, let's say uh, a, 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 a text that's already, <clears throat> I don't know, copyright statement, uh, whatever. Okay, so I will select <clears throat> the document that I want from the dialog box. And then uh, it's uploading, as you can see, it's pretty fast, pretty quick. And then uh, it shows right there. Okay, so uh, that screenshot, PNG, whatever, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'll, we'll crash it later on. <clears throat> so this one, this part is done. And the other big advantage, <clears throat> like I said, for adding a, a document, you just create a document just like we did earlier. Okay, create a document, like let's say for this one. Okay, I copy all my document. And I will call it Google Drive Usage <clears throat> Info. There it is. <coughs> so that's done. Okay, so let's create a Google because you can import a Word document, but and I can edit the Word document inside of Google Doc, but I won't be able to access it just from my page layout program. My page layout com program gives me access only to Google document that were created inside of Google Doc. <coughs> so as you can see, if I access my Docflow menu, place from Google Docs, and here I have my account, and if it's anything else, I won't be able to access it directly from there. And I won't be able to sync it directly from there. It, this only syncs <coughs> Google Doc document. Okay. And, bon, okay. The other very, very nice thing about Google Doc, about using that system, is that <coughs> I have installed what this button links to onto my drive into my computer okay as you can see here i have the google drive logo and if i hit that menu okay i can access <coughs> open google drive folder what it means it's that on my hard drive it has put a google drive replica of whatever i input in there so here i'm in new folder I just input screenshot, blah, 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 and I, in, I input a new Google document that was uh, my Google Drive usage info. Okay, so if <clears throat> I go in here, as you can see, we have a new folder, and if I open it, I have my screenshot that I copied, and I have my new doc that, <clears throat> that I have created. So it almost instantly replicates whatever is on the cloud. <clears throat> whatever is I put there it's replicated on my hard drive so that how you can do the same you just have to hit this button connect Google Drive to your desktop 
of course I'm using a Mac computer so that's why it says download drive for Mac but if you're using a PC it will say uh, download drive for PC or whatever it is and follow the instruction and uh, you'll end up with something quite as uh, equivalent as what I'm showing you there so the other great thing about this is that <clears throat> I can share any document that I've created inside Google Doc with another person okay but that person has to have a Google account so let's say here I hit the share button <coughs> I have a dialog box that appear and here I only have to enter a few emails and those people will get will be able to edit comment view okay whichever of those three I select <clears throat> and then I can be notified of whatever they do and uh, to the document and uh, I can follow whatever changes that are made okay so it's fairly simple and like I said I would maybe only give that kind of access to uh, people who are copy proofing the content or the format or the <clears throat> the info that goes in there and uh, make sure that if they have the right to edit the content that uh, it will be final okay make sure that uh, you, you 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 keep uh, control uh, over that so uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I could, uh, if you have any question, you call me, <clears throat> and I'll be more than glad to help you with this. Bye bye.